Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to create an auto BCC rule, also known as auto forwarding rule in Microsoft Exchange Online Admin Center. So we have uh, various uh, sender, these three senders in our case that need to forward all the email to this one particular email address. So it could be uh, vice versa. I mean, not from the sender, also the receiver part. If these three user receive an email, this all mail should auto forward to this particular email address. So uh, if you can uh, log in to our uh, admin portal or log in for, for the user portal from user, you can uh, click on mail and you can click on email forwarding. So forward all email sent to this mailbox. So if any mail uh, received from to this mailbox, particular mailbox, it will automatically forward to another mailbox and you can add only one address in here. So if you want to add multiple address, you can do, that, do this uh, from here. And also this applies only when you receive an email. So when you send an mail from this uh, email address, it will not automatically forward to uh, another mailbox. So we can uh, configure this uh, rule from Exchange Admin Center. So in our scenario, what are we going to do? We're going to show you a two role, one for the sender side and one for the receiver side. And those two rules are automatically forward this to a particular email address or you can add multiple email address and this is called an auto BCC rule because these all the email that receive for from this address and it will automatically add an BCC to this particular uh, our targeted uh, email address and and whenever the email is forwarding uh, the user the best part of this that the user that there's their email is forwarded automatically they will not uh, show any notification so if we can do this from this user panel i mean you will add an an, or, an an forwarder he will he will get the notification that your mail is forwarded to this address but if you configure this rule from exchange online admin center uh, the user will not get any notification so to do that you click on mail flow click on rules now click on add a rule create a new rule and let's name it auto bcc for sender So apply the rule if the sender is this person. So in our case, we have three email ID. Let's search for them. One person added. Second one. And the third one. So here is the you need to uh, understand this very uh, perfectly that you give it a name, the rule name, and then apply this rule in the condition you set the sender. If the sender is this three person, you can add multiple user from in here later on. The, do the following, and then what it should do. So it will now we're going to apply the rule that what is going to do now this here it will uh, add recipients to the BCC box. So now we're going to search for the user that will, it will get the BCC on. Click on save. Now, let's check it again. Our giving the, no, the name of the rule, apply this rule if the sender, we are working on the sender side, is the person, we add our three sender from this. This is our sender, three sender, and all this email that sent from this three sender will automatically have a BCC to this email address, our target 
email address now our rule is done there is an exception we don't need this exception right now so click on next enforce this policy click on next now finish this so the rule is created successfully click on done now again let's see the status is disabled so this rule is not enabled yet so click on this rule and click on enable so one is enabled give the refresh so check okay it should enable give it some time uh, it may take some few minutes okay the rule set update successfully so yes the rule is enabled so one portion is done so if any user and you can you can add uh, another user edit this rule condition just click on edit here and you can add multiple uh, members you want uh, so in the, in the under the one rule you can uh, configure this one or you can create a new rule for a new uh, uh, rule if you want so this one is done now i'm going to show you for the uh, receiver part so just same as this create a new rule let's say auto bcc receiver so apply the rule is if the recipient now we are going to the opposite side we are going to see the reverse one so is the person let's say we uh, click on uh, we add the same person in here just search for the same person okay click on save and then do the following do the following same thing add recipient to the bcc box and select the user so click on save click on next enforce this rule click on next and then finish okay it's done now again enable this rule wait for some time to update the status okay the rule is updated now it's enabled so this way you can create uh, multiple rules and this uh, sometimes is a, is a requirement from the management that they want uh, someone to you know uh, what they send the what what type of mail they send they want to have a track uh, so this way you can uh, create a rule and the sender or the receiver they will not get any notification so his mail will, is automatically forwarded to uh, another mailbox that you define in here and and, and it will not uh, show uh, any uh, you know a notification or any other alert to uh, the the recipient the sender or the recipient that you uh, define in here so this way you can create uh, multiple rules uh, thank you